Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. This will be a how they feel about you love reading. It's going to focus on your person, uh, how they feel about you, what their true intentions are, and what potential actions they'll take towards you. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but it will not resonate with every Aries watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest, uh, check out your other placements, or just check back next week if this is in your reading. Uh, don't try to make it fit if it's not yours. It just means today is not your reading. Maybe next week's will be. All right, Aries, let's get into this. This will be for those of you who already have some sort of a connection with someone or have someone in mind. For Aries spirit, what messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? What messages do you have for Aries when it comes to love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. All right. Huh. For Aries, I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot deck. All the decks that I'm using are in the description box below. Um, check them out if you're interested. I love this deck, even though it's huge. Um, but I love the artwork so much. All right, Aries, let's get into this. How does your person think or feel about you? What are their thoughts or feelings? The person that you're thinking about. Spirit, tell me about the person that Aries is thinking about at this time. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Aries at this time? Their thoughts or feelings towards Aries at this time. Eight of Cups reversed. Wow. Someone here could be thinking of returning to you here, or perhaps they are delayed from leaving a situation. We'll look at that and see. This one looks like it wants to come out too. Justice reverse. Wow, Libra energy here. Something here is not fair, not balanced. There could be deception as well because justice is all about getting to the truth, uh, being objective and logical. So when it's reversed, could be that there's something here that's not clear or not uh, honest, not ethical, right? Something here um, with justice reversed. Uh, maybe there's been some sort of decision and it's not fair to you or you feel it's unfair or your person feels it's unfair. This is how they feel. Anything else for how this person feels about Aries? How did this person feel about Aries? Could be some sort of legal situation gone wrong here as well. How does this person think or feel about Aries spirit? The star reversed. Aquarius energy. Something feels hopeless. Your person's losing faith or hope in this connection or something to do with this connection. And not all of my cards are reversed. I have plenty of up, up look even the ace of cups right there very nice prince of pentacles king of swords i have a lot of cards up right but all of you this person's cards came out reverse so that means it reversals aren't bad by the way they're not bad cards it just means it's a different message you know there's 78 cards up right in the tarot and they have a certain message and with the reverse you get 70 more messages which is great um, you just get more information. So I feel like when, you're, when your person is thinking about you or this connection, something here is off about it for your person. They feel it's unfair or they feel like things are not balanced, not working out. Um, they're losing faith or hope here. So let's get some more insight. I'm using my homemade Oracle deck here. Spirit, give us some more insight into how this person is thinking or feeling about Aries. Give us some more insight, please, into how this person is thinking or feeling about Aries, please. How's this person thinking or feeling about Aries? There, give us some more insight into what they're thinking or feeling, please. I need it to heal. Maybe this star is needing to heal still. The star reverse, that's one of the uh, interpretations of it. Interesting, okay. What else, what else can you tell us about this person's thoughts or feelings, spirit? Oh, okay, I got two. Okay, they want me to take both. A year from now, we need to talk. 
Interesting. A year from now and we need to talk. So this person has something to say to you, clearly. But why a year from now? Anything could happen in a year. Um, completely different set of circumstances in a year. Uh, it could be marriage in a year. It could be a divorce in a year. It could be a whole new life in a year. Interesting. So let's get some more insight here. Let's look at your person's true intentions. Spirit, tell me more about this person's true intentions towards Aries. What are their true intentions towards Aries? What is this person's true intentions towards Aries, please? Seven of Cups reverse. What are their true intentions? Five of Cups reverse. Who got these cards? Someone had very similar cards. I think it was Capric... Was it Capricorn? No. It wasn't. That's going to bother me now. Five of Cups reverse is all about recovering what was lost or unable to get over the past and what you've lost. We'll clarify and see. What are this person's true intentions? With the Seven of Cups reverse, it could be that they want to, they've chosen an option. There is clarity about what they want. Ten of Wands, burden weighed down by responsibilities. Your person might have a lot on their plate um, and they're ready to set down a burden. Maybe this is their intention to get this done first before they come to you to talk about whatever it is they, they want to tell you. Okay, so what potential actions will they take towards you? What's this person's potential actions towards Aries? Potential actions, please. Potential actions. What are their potential actions towards Aries? <gasps> Knight of Cups. What? Beautiful. Potential actions towards Aries, please. Oh my God. <laughs> the lovers. What? Gemini energy there. Okay. This is pretty clear so far. Potential actions, please, towards Aries. Potential actions, please, towards Aries. Five of Wands reverse, beautiful. Overcoming the difficulty, the fighting, uh, reconciliation here, essentially. Compromise, waving the white flag, truce time, etc., etc. Interesting. Well, I love this so far. This could be an apology as well with the Knight of Cups. We'll clarify and see. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Aries. Their intentions seem to be kind of um, motivated by whatever loss there has been between you and this person. Clarify these energies, please, Spirit, for Aries. Help me clarify. These energies, please. So let's get to the bottom of this. We'll start with that Eight of Cups at the top there. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse for Aries? The Eight of Cups reverse. Page of Cups. Wow. Couldn't be clearer. So they want to return to either apologize or express how they feel for you. I think it's an apology because I have the three of swords at the bottom here. A lot of pain as well. I needed to heal. I instantly thought of this card. So why justice reverse? For Aries, why justice reverse?
Eight of Wands. Communication. Movement. Can I get one more for justice? Wow. Wow. Tower reverse, Wheel of Fortune. Very powerful energies here. Wheel of Fortune. Everything moving forward. This is all about moving forward here. Moving forward from what was a tower moment. Something that was not just, not fair to your person. Something that I feel was keeping your person stuck. Tell me about the star reverse. Why is the star reverse here? Aquarius energy with the star. Why is the star reverse? King of Pentacles reversed. Someone is not doing very well financially, making unwise decisions, maybe greedy. The, maybe your person's recognizing that their greed led them to a hopeless situation that they have to heal from. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords reverse. There might have been deception here as well. Tell me more about the star reverse. Your person possibly was really knocked down by this tower or this justice card reverse. Tell me about the star reverse, please. Why is the star reverse? Judgment reverse. Yikes. Remember what I said about the bad decisions? That's that judgment card reverse. I feel like your person made a bad judgment call and it led them to have to heal from something because they got into this mess whatever it is, and it affected your connection in some way. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Is the Seven of Cups reverse here? Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah, your person chose the wrong cup thinking it was a wish fulfilled here, and it wasn't. They, did, they had to give something up, and it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. It was an illusion. Tell me more about this Seven of Cups reverse, please. Ace of Swords reverse. They lied to themselves or they were deceptive in some way. Um, they could have lied to themselves here, not communicated something, bad communication, this was a lie. Whatever whatever wish this person thought they were getting, it was a lie. Now, this is your person's true intentions. So it could also be that they're not thinking of telling you the whole truth here with the Ace of Swords reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse. They could be deceiving you or keeping something from you. But for some reason, I'm not picking up that energy. Bottom of the deck here, have the High Priestess reverse, something coming to light. So maybe their intention is to bring something to the light that was a deception in the past. Tell me about this Five of Cups reverse. What's this Five of Cups reverse about? What's Five of Cups reverse doing here? Devil reverse, Capricorn energy here. Breaking free of an unhealthy attachment. No longer being a slave to your desires. Tell me more about this Five of Cups reverse. Tell me more about the Five of Cups reverse. Nine of Wands. Exhaustion. Being guarded. Defensive. Um, having trust issues. Not giving up. I feel like your person left a situation that was very toxic and put them through the ringer. They have regrets over the past. Yeah, look at this. Three of Swords. Once again, this could have been a third party situation for some of you. 
I feel like your person chose someone else and it wasn't the right person. And now they want to talk, you know, open up with the high priestess reverse. I feel like they broke free of something and needed to heal, but they were thinking about you the whole time, about what happened between you. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Six of Wands reverse. They're, they're not going to have their success on, until they drop this Ten of Wands. Because Six of Wands reverse could be delayed success as well. Uh, there's challenges ahead before you're successful. That kind of energy. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands, please. Page of Swords. There's that We Need to Talk card. It's almost like a, like a progression, right? Like um, before this person can have their success, they have to drop a Ten of Wands and then communicate with you about it. Until that happens, like nothing, yeah, the Magician Reverse, nothing's going to be manifested. So let's see, what's, this is your person's potential actions here with the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Aries regarding the person that you're thinking about spirit. What are the person's actions? Why the Knight of Cups? Got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups here. And the Page of Swords. This is all communication. Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, definitely. This is what your person either wants to apologize for or wants to offer you. A reconciliation with the Three of Cups coming together. Willing to put effort into this relationship. Or they could be apologizing for a third party. Or this third party could have been work-related as well with the eight of pentacles or financially financial related related to finances i can't talk english bottom of the deck temperance sagittarius energy this is all about coming together in harmony and taking your time so this is your person what they want here tell me about the lovers tell me about the lovers please Ten of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. I'm thinking, um, wow. Your person, yeah, well, Ten of Cups reverse. Your person could have left a family or had family issues, money issues, commitment issues. Yeah, they could have been married to someone else, had children possibly. And now your person's choosing something else. Tell me more about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. Yeah, Eight of Cups. They're leaving something for you, I feel here. Walking away here from a Ten of Pentacles. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles behind the deck again. Wow. Tell me about the Five of Wands reverse. What's this Five of Wands reverse about, Spirit? What's this Five of Wands reverse about? Three of Pentacles reverse. Something here wasn't working, someone wasn't putting in enough effort, um, wasn't giving to this connection. And I feel like someone wants to, again, compromise, call truce here. Again, something with a third party for some of you that are dealing with that. Tell me more about this Five of Wands reverse, please. Why is the Five of Wands reverse? Two of Wands. Interesting. Four of Swords, healing, resting, relaxation, meditating, reflecting, etc., etc. I feel like your person's thinking of a new path here. 
the best move forward. Um, and I think they want to take that with you. They want to they want to do this this situation with you. Well, okay, yes. A lot of <laughs> Let me just show you what I have here. Two of Swords reverse, no longer undecided. Four of Cups reverse, changing their mind, having a change of heart. Two of Cups regarding a, a separation or do or having a separation. King of Swords reverse, this is I feel who they're dealing with. Six of Swords and they're walking away from that. For a new beginning. Ace of Wands. I feel like this is a very clear cut reading. Where you know. Your person's intentions I feel. And you know. I'm trying to think of like. You know. This five of wands reverse is. Overcoming conflict. Overcoming a difficult situation. Compromise. Working together. You know. And then I have the Three of Pentacles reverse, which is things that are not working together. Uh, not working together, not working, not no put, not putting enough effort. So I feel like we're a third party situation. So I feel like someone here wants to let this go. Let's let all of this go and go down a different path. I've really thought about this, you know, and I want to talk to you about it. That's what I see here. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope this resonated for you in some way. If it did, please let me know. I love to hear from you. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.